Hello, hello everyone. Hello guys. How are you today? I'm Miss Doris with story time. And guess what? I am ready to read you a book. Are you ready for a story today? Hello, Shikana. Hello, Champagne. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Shy. Hello, Callie. Hello, Sir Antonio. Hello, my handsome. Hello, my princess. Hey, guys, guess what? You're just in time for story time with Miss Doris. Hello, Lakeisha. How are you? I hope you're feeling much better today. Hello, Zanaya. Hello, everyone. Well, hey, guys, guess what? Let's just go ahead on and get started. I love peanut butter and jelly. And you're having apples and juice. Yum, yum. Hello, Aries. Hello, my princess. Hello, Seppi. Hello, Carter. Hello, Royal. Hello, Royal. It was so awesome meeting you this past weekend. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And guess what, guys? Today, can you picture... Can you I spy what Miss Doris is not wearing today in her hair? I bet you can guess. Oh, it's okay. I thought I'd do something different today with this new little look. So what do you think Miss Doris isn't wearing today? What is missing on Miss Doris? Well, guess what, guys? I'm just going to go ahead on and get started. I would like to go ahead on and greet everyone globally, all over the world. I would like to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some good night. Someone somewhere in the world is getting ready for bed. But guess what? You are just in time for a story with Story Time with Miss Doris. I'm Miss Doris with Story Time. And welcome. I like to send a couple of shout outs. I like to say hello to Royal. Hello, everybody. Hello, Jojo. Hello, Harmony, Tanelia, Carter, Tyson, Ari, Arias. Hello, Cousin August. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Aria. Hello, guys. Welcome to Story Time with Miss Doris. Well, today's story we are going to be reading is, uh-oh, something is wrong there. It's going to be okay. Today's book we're going to be reading is Daniel Feels Left Out. Daniel Feels Left Out. Sometimes we feel left out, I know, but we're going to see what happened. Well, how many of you guys remember that story time song? I bet all of you guys remember that song. I think sometimes that's the most important part. It's that story time song. I really love that song. There it goes! Story time, yes, that's it. I love that song. I can't hear you guys singing. Story time. Guess what I'm wearing today? A story time bracelet. Story time with Miss Doris. Can you read that? Story time. There he goes. She'll read to you, sing to you, tell you not just what to do. It's story time. Story time with Miss Doris. Oh, I love that song. Story time with Miss Doris. It's story time. Story time with Miss Doris. It's story time. It's story time, guys. She'll read to you, sing to you, tell you all just what to do. Whoa, you guys were awesome. Well, princes and kings, go ahead on and have a seat. And moms and dads, papas and nanas. You guys have a seat as well. Enjoy your lunch while Miss Doris read you a story. I am so, so excited and reading you guys a story on today. My dad and I are on our way home for dinner. 
there are, hello, Miss BJ. Hello, Mr. Bill. How are you guys today? Today's book we're reading is Daniel Feels Left Out. Look at that. Daniel is on his way home for dinner, to have dinner with his mom. Katarina and O are playing outside. They are playing ladybugs. Whoa, look at that. There we go, him and dad on their way home. And here's he and his friend playing outside. Wow, what beautiful colors. I love those colors. They are really, really nice. I see that little cart there driving in. I say hi. Do you want to play too? I cannot play. It's time for dinner. Daniel can't play. He has to go inside for dinner. His friends wants him to play with them, but nope, you can't play. When it's dinner time, you have to go inside. I love dinner time. They keep playing without me, Daniel says. I feel left out. He wants to play with his friends, but he can't, Daniel. You can't play with your friends, Daniel. You have to go inside for dinner. There he goes. His friends is having so much fun. And there he goes with his dad. Does he have a happy face? Or does he have a sad face? I think he has a sad face. Hello. Hello, Mr. Randy. Hello, Mr. Bill. Hello, Miss Dottie. Hi, Miss Dottie. Hello, Mr. Reuben. How are you? My dad sees me frown. Are you feeling sad? Daniel, he asks. Look at that frown on Daniel's face. I know you guys are not frowning today. I know you guys have beautiful, beautiful smiles. I can see those beautiful smiles. I see you smiling, Mr. Bill. Mr. Bill has an awesome smile on his face. No one is frowning today like Daniel. I tell him that I feel sad. I feel sad because I feel left out. He can't go have fun. There he goes, but it's okay. It'll be okay. And look what his dad has on his shoulder. A bag with lots and lots of toys. Don't feel sad on today. He tells me that it's okay to feel sad. Little by little, you'll feel better. You won't feel sad always. His dad is giving him a hug. Because he wants to play. It's not playing time. It's dinner time dinner time we not play we go inside for dinner did you give mom and dad a hug today i feel a little bit better already just from that hug oh thank you dad it helps to talk about your feelings at all times when you guys are feeling sad or down Always, always let someone know that you are feeling really, really sad. And we'll do our best to cheer you up. At home, my mom and dad make dinner and I can help. Uh-oh, he's feeling better and better. He's not feeling sad anymore. He's helping out in the kitchen. Wow. Look at that. There he goes. Thanks for helping out in the kitchen, Daniel. You're awesome. We gave him something to do so he doesn't feel left out. My mom asked me about my day. How is your day? Are you guys having an awesome day? There he goes, having conversation with his mom. There she goes. What beautiful colors. Hello, Daniel. I'm glad you're able to conversate with your mom. You guys make sure you're conversating with your moms. Wow. What beautiful.
beautiful colors. It's okay, Daniel. I tell her that I could not play with my friends. I feel really, really sad. Now he's telling his mom at dinner time. There he goes, Mom. I feel really sad. I can't play with my friends. It's okay, Daniel. You have time. It's hard to be left out, Mom says. It really, really is. There he goes, talking to his mom. And she's telling him, it's okay to feel left out sometime. She says, it's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel sad. Little by little, you'll feel really, really much, much better. Sadness won't last always. It's just all a part of life. Sometimes we're happy. Sometimes we're sad. But he's feeling sad. He can't play outside with his friends. My mom knows something else that would help me. Hmm, what else could help you if you're feeling sad and left out? Well, guess what can help you? His mom gives him a hug. When you're feeling sad, remember that Miss Doris at Storytime is giving you an invisible hug when you're feeling sad. I don't want you guys to feel sad. I want you to be happy at all times. I feel way, way much better. Hey guys, let's try this at home. Let's give ourselves a hug. Are you hugging yourself? If not, Miss Doris is giving all of you guys a hug. Wow, did you get that hug from Miss Doris? I hope you're feeling better. If you were feeling sad, a hug just for you. Whoa, I feel much better. Is it okay to feel sad sometimes? Look at that hug from his mom and dad. He's feeling way much better now. I hope you guys are feeling better from that hug I gave you guys. Well, little by little, as time goes by, you will feel much, much, much better. Because you won't be sad always. There he goes, guys. He has a smile on his face. Now he feels way, way much, much better. I'm so glad, Daniel, you're feeling much, much better. Because he was sad at first. He couldn't play with his friends. Well, guys, thank you so, so much for tuning in with Storytime with Miss Doris. You guys were awesome today. Awesome listeners. And I hope you ate all of your lunch and fruits on today. And guess what? Try, if you can, and clean your mess after lunch. If you're eating in a paper plate, make sure you put that plate in the trash can and your regular dishes, sit it on the counter if you can put it in the sink. You guys are awesome. And remember, if you're not feeling well, always, always let someone know, mom or dad and nanas or papas, and they will take really, really good care of you. And when you're coming in from outside, from playing, doing no somersaults, playing with your roller skates or that skateboard, Make sure when you come inside that you are washing and sanitizing your hands at all times because germs are everywhere. Make sure you guys are cleaning your hands. I don't want you guys to be sick. I want you guys well at all times and smiling. And the most, most important thing Always remember, safety, safety first at all, all times. When you're going out in public with mom and dad, and mom and dad gives you a mask to put on, 
always, always make sure you guys are wearing your mask. Are you wearing your mask when you go out in public? I hope so, because we don't want you guys getting sick. Don't take those masks off until mom or dad tells you to, or when you get in the car with permission to take your mask off. You guys are awesome today. Thank you, thank you so much for tuning in with Storytime with Miss Doris. Oh, and by the way, I appreciate all of you guys on Storytime Live Lunch on Saturday. You guys are awesome. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for all, all the support. I appreciate you all. Well, have to go now, guys. You guys, <coughs> excuse me. You guys have an awesome, awesome day. And remember, Miss Storytime loves you all. And I'm giving all of you guys a hug and a smile on today. A smile just for you. If you're not smiling on today, Miss Storytime has a smile for you. Take care and see you guys soon. Have an awesome awesome day.